At last year's CES 2023 exhibition, a high-tech electric wheelchair called Siwobro, developed in Switzerland for people with limited mobility, was showcased, and it truly amazed many people. According to its creators, it is the world's only self-balancing wheelchair capable of ascending and descending stairs without a ramp. The wheelchair itself is incredibly convenient. Skiwo Bro is not dependent on torso size. The seat can expand from 45 to 87 centimeters. The backrest is adjustable and can be customized according to personal preferences, and the proprietary mobile application provides information about speed and current mode, as well as controls for lighting and key settings such as joystick sensitivity. Weighing 162 kilograms, this personal transport can travel 25 to 35 kilometers on a single charge at speeds of up to 10 kilometers per hour, which puts it on par with electric scooters. However, the main feature of Skiwo Bro is its ability to move on regular stairs. The wheelchair can independently climb up to 30 steps per minute, each of which can have a maximum height of 20 centimeters with a slope of up to 36 degrees. It can also overcome 5 centimeters obstacles in the wilderness, in case the user gets tired of urban locations and wishes to rest without outside assistance in remote areas. Currently, developers have sold about 30 units of Skiwo Bro at a price of 33,500 euros each. Investors have evaluated the product as high potential. Limex Dynamics Robot has learned to walk upstairs like a human. Robotics company Limex Dynamics has announced progress in the development of the humanoid robot, CL1. After improving perception algorithms and body control, the robot has become faster at climbing stairs. Now it alternates legs with each step, rather than taking two steps per stair as before. At the same time, the robot's speed and dynamic capabilities have increased. This is also due to hardware updates in addition to software improvements. Furthermore, the robot's structure has become lighter and more impact resistant. CL1 is one of the few humanoid robots in the world that performs stair climbing based on real-time terrain perception, primarily thanks to the use of Limex Dynamics motion control technology and artificial intelligence algorithms, as well as patented high-performance actuators and hardware systems. The advantage of the humanoid robot lies in its ability to react in real time to changes in terrain, rather than blindly following a predetermined route. Reportedly, Limex Dynamics is the first company in China to apply perceptive control in humanoid robots, successfully performing dynamic stair climbing and descending slopes. There are now many types of robots and just as many theories on how to build them, but Dr. Suzanne Gildert, founder and CEO of Vancouver-based Sanctuary, wants her robots to be as lifelike as possible. I don't think you can have intelligence without some kind of body, even if it is an abstract sense of a body, she said in a recent interview. All the concepts we have in our head come from the type of data we ingest, which means it is a function of our sensory perception, and therefore, our body. As such, Dr. Gildert created what she calls synths, which not only look like us, but learn by emulating us. In her lab, Dr. Gildert slips into an exoskeleton and stands next to one of the in-development Alpha 3 units, teaching it to move through teleoperation. By being embodied, Sanctuary AI's synths understand their role within an environment, just like we do through experiencing, recording, and replaying until they get it via reinforcement learning. Cuda Jet moves your personal jetpack fantasies underwater. While we've seen a number of wearable underwater propulsion systems, they've typically been strapped to the user's arms or legs. The Cuda Jet is different in that it's a true backpack-style underwater jetpack. It was developed by British underwater enthusiast Archie O'Brien while he was in his final year at Loughborough Design School. Among other things, he wanted to create a system that was lighter and faster than existing products. The Cuda Jet is the final commercial version of what he envisioned. The setup consists of the dual jet drive pack itself, which is attached to a padded neoprene harness that's worn on the torso. A hardwired handheld trigger style remote is used to control the speed and monitor the lithium battery's charge level. One 75 minute charge is claimed to be good for a runtime of up to 40 minutes. The jetpack can be used down to a maximum depth of 40 meters and delivers 40 kilograms of thrust, reportedly taking the wearer to a top speed of 3 meters per second. It's said to tip the scales at 13.2 kilograms when out of the water, with the harness adding an extra 1.5 to 1.7 kilograms depending on the size. Pricing for a complete CUDA jet package starts at 14,000 pound sterlings. Inform is a display that can physically generate 3D content, 
allowing users to interact with digital information as if they were interacting with real objects through touch. InForm is a project that can interact with the physical world around it. For example, moving objects on the surface of a table. Remote participants in video conferences can be physically represented, enhancing the sense of presence and the ability to physically interact at a distance. Such displays are intended to be used in three different ways. To facilitate interaction by changing the shape and thus the physical purpose of an object, to create dynamic artificial constraints that guide users, and to control existing physical objects. Currently, developers are researching the application areas of such displays. For example, architects could view 3D models physically, which would facilitate the process of sharing work and discussing it. Additionally, InForm would allow 3D modelers and designers to prototype their ideas physically without using 3D printing. Finally, in medicine, computer tomography scans could be viewed as physical models and interacted with. Robots are perfect for performing simple, monotonous, and dirty tasks. This was the guiding principle for the startup Somatic when developing a commercial toilet cleaning robot. In bathrooms, everything is bolted to the floor, which is ideal for robotics. The robot only needs to survey the room once, explains company co-founder Michael Levy. Using a VR simulator, the development team demonstrates tasks such as spraying cleaning agents, wiping surfaces, vacuuming or drying. The team calls it the worst video game. After cleaning, the robot autonomously travels to recharge and replenish cleaning supplies as needed. This autonomous cleaning robot navigates elevators, easily finds bathrooms and performs routine cleaning tasks, including floor mopping, disinfection and vacuuming. According to the leasing terms, the robot will work approximately 8 hours a day. It can navigate elevators and open doors on its own. The company plans to lease it for $1,000 per month. As noted by TechCrunch, Somatic already has several clients, including Facebook, Amazon, Apple, Netflix, and Google. The matter of helping drowning people is the concern of the drowning individuals themselves. However, the Portuguese company Norris Performance intends to challenge this statement by developing the world's first waterborne robot USAFE, whose goal is to rescue drowning individuals along the coast. The robot swims using two turbines. They are omnidirectional and operate independently of the USAFE's orientation in the water. Weighing 30.6 kilograms, USAFE has a range of 6 kilometers and a maximum speed of 15 kilometers per hour. It is powered by a lithium-ion battery with inductive charging and is controlled by a waterproof Bluetooth remote control. The advantage of the robot is that it is not afraid of the chaotic actions of the victim, which in the case of a human rescuer could lead to a double tragedy. Moreover, USAFE serves as a warning buoy in the process. This robot has already been adopted by the Italian and Portuguese Coast Guards and is now preparing for release in the United States. Write in the comments what you liked most after watching this video. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the Caro Show channel. Also check out our previous videos. See you next time.